Hello everyone, Joshua Gillespie here. Um, I know it's past Halloween, but last week I was super busy trying to get my review done and I was unable to do Muppet Monday. So here it is now, the last two Halloween Muppet Monday episodes. Enjoy. Today on Muppet Monday, we are looking at the Halloween episodes of Fraggle Rock, starting with the Terrible Tunnel. The story is, Boober is being superstitious and it's starting to scare Wembley. And look! Look at this! The rock is cracked! <gasps> the rock and who else? One of the things he mentions is the Terrible Tunnel, a mysterious place in Fraggle Rock that few have returned from. They go to the storyteller and they hear the song, The Ballad of Sir Blunderbrain. Come gather around you Fraggle Clan and hear the tale I tell about a grand disaster and a wicked magic spell. Basically, inside of the terrible tunnel is this clamshell-like trap which captures Fraggles and the only way to escape is to trade places with somebody else which is what happened to Sir Blunderbrain. After that, during a game similar to Marco Polo, Heidi! Oh! Oh. Wembley stumbles across the terrible tunnel. I'm not scared of staying out or hanging around when ghosts up here. Oh, I'm not scared of anything except of being here. And tries to convince the rest of the gang that he found it. I'm not going to spoil the ending of this episode, but I will give you my thoughts on it later in the video. Now the side story is Sprocket finds a horseshoe and Doc wants to use it. How about a nice bribe? I mean, trade. I'll give you my favorite screwdriver for your horseshoe. And because Sprocket doesn't want Doc to use it, he keeps offering him different things to trade for the horseshoe. Again, I'm not going to spoil how it ends. So. What do I like about this spooky episode? Exactly that. It is rather creepy. You know, not like horror movie levels, but you know, enough to keep kids on the edge of their seats. The Terrible Tunnel is a pretty freaky place. Sir Blunderbrain doesn't survive, you know? It's not a story of, oh, he got into the Terrible Tunnel, but he made it out. No, he, he didn't. He's dead. Another thing I like is the storyteller, played by Terry Angus. She's coming. I don't want any! She is just a very funny character with a lot of great lines. A thousand years ago, or maybe even 33. Speaking of the storyteller, I really love the songs in this episode. And finally, I really like the way Doc and Sprocket's story ends. It's got a great build-up to a great punchline. So even though I really enjoyed this episode, what do I dislike? Honestly, I'm not a big fan of how the main story ends. It just seems a bit... rushed. But my biggest problem with the episode is, what's the lesson? I'm not saying that every episode of Fraggle Rock needs to have a clear lesson or a clear message, but this one just seems kind of confusing, you know? Is it face your fears? Not really, because Wembley's just trying to prove to his friends that he was right. The only one that I can think of that makes sense is, you know, stand by your friends and believe them even when their idea sounds ridiculous. If you have an idea of what the lesson might be, please feel free to put it in the comments section. I would love to see what you think. But overall, I think this episode is a lot of fun. It's spooky, it's got great songs, sure there isn't much of a lesson, but eh, it can be forgiven because everything else in this episode is really top notch. Lots of cool special effects, great scenery, one of my favorite Fraggle Rock episodes. 
You can find this episode, of course, on the Fraggle Rock Season 1 DVD, and it's also available to stream on Hulu. This is still a wonderful episode, any time of the year, and I definitely recommend checking it out. Oh, all ye Fraggles blubber, for he'll not come.